<laughs> Hello, my fellow Shogun to players. Yeah, the rip here with Majutsu, Prussian Prince, Jonas Nee, and uh, Grand Duke. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. And we are in the third game of the finals of Shogun 2 2v2 Apocalypse Cup. And this is your Simon and Yarban against Killerfish and Tajal on Caldera. This time map picked by Simon and uh, Yarban. Uh, they are attackers. And uh, let me see. Well, Killerfish and Tajal once again took bow general. So let's see how game evolves. And again. A rush army for both Yarvin and Simon. <laughs> so I don't know yeah. what they expect to do. You know, that. I don't know. Do they Three have times a hard time? Maybe it's gonna work because I dropped. Maybe this is <laughs> yeah. what they yeah. need to come back. Maybe it's all because of you, Prussia, that they lost. What an ego! <laughs> I no, always ready. said. They're gonna get a lot of kills on this Yarvin Sam because two bow gens and one uh, bow cab is, is targeting it. Yep. Is is there a plan to just let them shoot all of their ammo and then duke it out like Rambo? I, I know, guess. Rocky, I mean, Rocky, just take uh, the punches. Maybe. There is but no actual reduction on the map. Wait. Take the punches, your enemy gets tired. Then you win. Uh-huh. Yeah. Killifish! Oh yeah, he actually reacts. Uh, but, I mean, Rush built on Caldera. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Map is... Well, actually, I just got rushed here. It was kind of horrible to watch. Yeah, uh, but that's why you just don't you you fall back to good positions. You yeah, don't stand there and get rushed. Yeah, I I did do that, but it, it was just a very very weird game. Hmm. I was also out of it like a thousand, so. But mm, maybe this uh, time cavalry of Simon and Yarbon will play out. It's much stronger this time. I see two great yeah. gods. Yes. And more numbers. Mm. Of course, uh, Fish is smart. He's sending a BP Sam to the top of the hill. So if they're gonna try and flank with their cav, at least one strong uh, spear unit is there to uh, assist. Uh, and not at TWR least. And TWR has a workup. The problem is that it's exactly one unit. And if we look at this middle contingent of killifish, small one, there is only Yari Samurai and uh, Nagi Attendant, and in fact, this could be oh. a problem for him. But we we said that this time, well, Fish also has great guards now. Tartal has great guards, Fish has great guards. So it's not uh, obvious who has the better half horse. Tajal wasting his ammo on long Oh, Simon's Tashigaru. gonna get a good charge into this Nodachi, yes. Yeah, clean and charge. at the same time, he's also already engaging with his great guards. I don't know if he wants to do that, yeah. though. Well, Killifish charging uh, uphill, so I guess... Oh, Simon's he's actually doing it. quite well. Yeah, somebody's gonna win that engagement pretty no, decisively. No, it's even. No, it's even. Yeah. Quite even. Yeah, now he's pulling out, so... Yeah, and that cost him quite a lot of men. Yeah, that lost him one great guard. Mm. He should just have stayed, that could have won. Uh, unlikely. Well, he could at least have done more damage. Yes, but now he at least have uh, both of his great guards at least alive. Yeah, but but one of the units he were fighting was Fish's great guard. He could have taken that down to a point where it would not be useful anymore. Uh, and... Again, remember last Save game, cavalry of Killifish and Tajal isn't the danger. Losing yeah. your own cavalry is much yeah. more dangerous. Yeah, but still that great guard was more worth, so... Oh, and yeah. I didn't mm, no. notice this small fight when Yarban cavalry got caught or charged uh, and now tries to get out, but no, yeah, it's not going to work. Yarban clearly... Uh, his calf micro needs a bit of work. He, uh, he gets them into situations where they are easily killed. Yeah, but it's not about micro, it's about decision making, I would say. Yeah, okay, decision making, but he <laughs> could have noticed earlier and then yes. moved them. Shouldn't get yourself in a trap, uh, let's call it yeah. that. Um, it's a trap. It mm. is. Well, I mean, and if you don't plan yeah. to win it and you don't know how to win it, then why put yourself in that situation? Nice light charge into the Duchy of Yarmin uh, by yeah. Killerfish. 
And as you can see, they are just constantly holding up the uh, Russian forces. And they have a really good position. Look at these two matchlocks shooting at this Nodachi here. Just beautiful. Yeah, and as they pull back, Tajl wraps up around the uh, uh, flank of moving force. And they pick... Uh, one mm. slight mistake made by Fish. No, he's gonna get it to safety without much losses. Match of monks. But what cav is there for Simon and Yarbon? I don't they see. They still have Simon quite still a lot of cav. Yeah, I, I have that in uh, in view now. So there is but five cavalry this units. Flank. This flank is just getting destroyed by these skirmishers that the TWR team has. Yeah. And with yeah. each move. Oh, uh... why are they doing this? They're sending all their cav units into one blob against one Nodachi. And now they're gonna get downhill charged by Fish's uh, Great Guard and his oh, Light Cav. Yeah. Ooh, freak. This, this looks pretty over. Uh, yep. Not yet, but it, it, it goes in the same direction, uh, clearly. They're killing Fish, but look at what Arjal has left. Yeah. And more importantly, look how beautiful it is. How Tajal and Killifish, they maintain their spread, while with each uh, meter advance, Yarvan and Simon just blow up even more. Yeah. It's yep. it's actually something very important uh, uh, to maintain your spread. The for this mm. But Killifish, look, all his calf getting overcomed. Uh, so yes. Simon achieved something very important. He has five cavalry units of his own. Still in game. Most likely seven and great guards still. Yeah, this could be their chance. Yeah, if they can console that not attack right now, don't keep charging maybe. Uh, uh, yeah. Kill off uh, remaining stragglers like this match square monk of fish. And uh, basically Tarjal is the only one that has uh, a good cav unit left for DWR. He has a great guard left. But yeah. by this moment, infantry force of Simon and Yarbon are quite depleted already. Yeah. Uh, yes, but the cav can actually see. make a difference here. It can, but will it? I I honestly think that much looks of uh, Tajal protected. Actually, not that well. Now that I look. Mm. And look, Tajal. And yeah, nice. Fish still has a BP Sam of 90 men in uh, on top of the hill there, and I know Dutch at 36 men. Well, he's and gonna lose that one. But more importantly, he has it behind the enemy, which is quite cool. Uh, yes. It now creates a rear threat for Simon and. Uh... Oh, oh, it's it's wavering. Could it be killed? Yes. And it's actually rank 9 Banzai Naginata Samurai there. And Simon really needs to make use of his calf now to stop these matchlocks from shooting at him. To uh, make sure to, to kill all these boatmen. Look at this uh, attempt the from actually... Yarbon. They still have ammo? Yes. Yes. Yarbon tries to pin down uh, this BP Sam with Nagi Samurai and charge uh, from behind by light calf. We will see if it works for him or not. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. He's oh, going for it. Yeah. In grave danger, my lord. Yeah, wavering. Rapid advance, just in case, by killing yeah. fish. <laughs> Doesn't do much, I know, I, I use it uh, just to use it. Uh, yeah. the same. Well, I, I think, uh, is it something like it reduces fatigue? Yeah, it, it, it doesn't. Uh, really, in case you survive, you may want to keep it for later. Um, yeah. In my opinion. Harry Samhoya from Tarjal wavering here. If he has some bad luck, then it will rout pretty soon at 82 men. And I think, oh, this Simon is gonna go for the match socket and get a charge in the rear of the Harry Sam, maybe? Yeah, Tarjal formation broken and it may cost. Uh, oh, and he's also losing his great card, maybe, because he uh, missed micro with it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think uh, right. they have this. With the road. Very good chance yeah. here. Yeah, mm, not a game, but a chance. A few spears for, uh, for this play. 
Sajal and Fish. He have no yeah. that she. He yeah. have uh, another one that she's. Oh, there. Simon is wasting his calf, maybe. I I no. still think that the TWR team got this. If they keep their gens, they oh, win. Oh, and yes. look at this. Yeah, they can uh, use their remaining ammo just to go for gen sniping. Yeah. Simon, oh, you should have still chased. Oh, he oh. prefers to take out all these matchlocks. Look, look, without Tajo Saur, these guys, they may... I don't know, I, I, I can't really predict. Uh, yeah. I would well, say... Well, I can predict it, it's TW's up with. If, I think if the general of... Uh, Whoever it is, Yarbon or Simon dies, then it's over. Oh, no, no, <laughs> now that middle stabilized, it's over. Oh, no, Tajil still has a BP sum of 120 men. Oh. I don't think they can do this. <laughs> yeah, now, now it seems unlikely. Simon, too long with his great guarding Yari calf, killed at the uh, great guard of Tajil. He needed that to keep chasing the bow calf in general. It was battle of approaches and... Uh, yeah. But it was fun to watch. Yeah, definitely. So, GG, I guess, more or less. Uh, let's wait for it to stop, actually. Yeah. Shouldn't uh, call anything too soon. Well, game was good, but I mean... It's not over. Yeah, because Yarika so is now gonna get win. into... Nah. These both. Oh, the hell. Oh, look at this BP Sam Weaver. Strange. Yeah, you, if, if routes, you, you never know. Flanks yeah. exposed. Uh, nah. Yeah. Dajal yeah, sending his no general way. to provide that morale aura uh, and inspire. And to get those Yari Samurais into the. Yeah, uh, Simon's Jerry Cav not following. GG. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's finals of Apocalypse Cup. Uh, 3 0 score for in favor of TWR. Yep. Hmm. Oh, Killer's Fisher's general might die before the game is over. Yeah. And there's still uh, Yari Cav yeah. or Simon. No, this isn't over yet. Not uh, necessarily. Well, as long as the bow carry and bow general is living, it is. No, oh, time still is Yari Cav is chasing them now. <laughs> so, if that match yeah, doesn't release the volume. One of them needs to survive. The men are fatigued, my lord. Oh no. They well, stopped there. <laughs> Actually, Metrics 11 fired a volley. Yeah. We have an interesting discussion in uh, stream chat. And to answer some money, these games, these three games, were no boring, uh, no uneventful. So I'm not sure, like, uh, maybe you was doing something wrong. Uh, like, kiting but is but boring look, when... He has Banzai still. Yeah. Does he have Banzai? It, it actually sh should be no. up theoretically. Hmm. I mean, Look. how is this boring? I mean, it's a if it's a super close Cav game. can maybe route. Uh, well, yeah, he does the right thing now and splits up. Yeah. Uh, and now uh, it would be. Uh, so, yeah. It's... Look at this arrow tra trajectory. But what if Virgil's bowgen maybe is out of ammo, stuff like that? You know. You never uh... know. Still, it's only 17 men and a single Walker Raider. How much difference can they do? I actually think that that Bow Cavalry with the uphill advantage can take that on. That Yari Cavalry on and win. Oh, no ammo. Yeah, for general. Oh, uh, if only that Yari Cav had maybe 20 more men. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh Cav. Wavering. Wavering. Tajal. Can't he just enable melee mode or something? No, he's not used uh, to that. He, <laughs> he you, can, you, you can just click alt. Are you kidding me? He he's showing his back to the Yari Cav. 
And so his men are dying while he's not doing any damage. Yeah. To yeah. The Yari Cap of Simon. Well, he's <laughs> running for the bulletproof. <laughs> oh, but Simon needs to pull back the Yari Cap now, which he does, yes. But again, it's pretty much over. You, say but you it said already. it can't. Yeah, but it's closer than you <laughs> imagined, so... Yeah, it, it is closer than I imagined, but... Uh, so you should <laughs> never say, uh, call a game too soon. If that gen yeah, dies, yeah. morale shark might actually... Uh, yeah, yeah, now the archive is dead. But more, uh, more importantly, it will make you give up uh, the game you play yourself to... I don't I do know, guys. Too. I have a I question for a stream. I give up like 50 minutes before I actually lose. Yeah. <laughs> but I have a question for stream. Does anyone really think as some manite? Was it really boring? Like who said? I just I just can't imagine. How the heck is this boring? It was the whole match of uh, full of events, uh, full of action. Uh, it's just uh, maybe we are boring. I, that's actually true. It's not a game that boring, but a caster if something oh. goes wrong on the stream. Oh, I mean, honestly, yeah. it's your job to make stream uh, enjoyable, even if game is so-so. But this game definitely was... I was very uh, excited yeah. in the end. <laughs> yeah. Especially in the end. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it ended up being much, much closer than we could have predicted. Exactly. Uh, well, it's there was something from typical pointman's approach. Even remember that match against Killerfish uh, on Agony One v One tournament FOTS one, the game where I think it, it was Kurobi Gorge. Yes. And it, it was like everyone was taking Miller Rush against the heavy kiting build with Imperial Guard cavalry. Really? And everyone was yeah he lost he lost <laughs> and he just kept pursuing him pursuing him pursuing. And he cut him down in the end. Like, it was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, sometimes it works. It's just, you really need to be on top of your game to consistently win with rushes on such a maps. Good game. So let's take a fast look at uh, builds. Well, congratulations to Tajland Killerfish, of course. Yes, yep. congratulations. And uh, to Simon and Yerburn for getting so far away and kicking Majutsu yep. and Russian Prince asses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, this is, this just proves why TWI is the best clan ever. Yeah. <laughs> so Fish didn't even realize it's best of five. I think he assumed it's uh, it's more games. <laughs> so someone it says uh, no creative tactics, no creative armies. So if you take Skirmishing from the game, you will see a lot of creative tactics and armies. I see. Uh, select all, attack move. <laughs> creative to the very core. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at uh, what we have here. Uh, bow cavalry... And uh, I just want to finish a thought. Like, as I always say, boredom is always in the eyes of someone who is watching. For me, like yeah. it, it, it always was. I'm coming to this game, and everyone were like, "Oh, this works like this. This works like this," and I was just sitting there, at, and without any patches, I have so duck changing full of the samurai meta game single-handedly in like in a term of two months. Months like yeah. everyone were line heavy is the only way to play. Line heavy is the only way to play, and duck turned it around like it's. Uh, and, and it's just people are boring if they think it's boring it's just you have to see something cool for yourself as we do uh, like for me for example casting become a thing that makes game absolutely enjoyable even when I can't find anything interesting as a player for myself I just can't raise above certain level anyway units so for Tajal to Great Gods, his bow cavalry with increased range, bow gen, three much locks. Yeah. Do well, not that yeah. uh, It's cavalry actually didn't do that good. Mm. Did quite well in her 24 quite kills. Well. Uh, yeah. Not for level 9, that's, mm. that's like expensive. I guess. Uh, for kill the fish, uh, yeah. So 
mm, bull general again. Killerfish didn't do all that exceptionally with his units. He took rank 7 great guards as well, 3 Yari cavalry, so very cavalry heavy contingent. Uh, I guess the bigger map is, uh, the more cavalry uh, they take. To Nodachi, Wakarida, so 3 swords. Uh, 1, two, 2 spears. Man, that's a lot of cavalry. Oh, uh, yeah. 3 spears, 2 Nagatans, 1 Yari Sam. Uh -huh. And of course, a BP Sam, so 2. 4, basically. For Simon, a lot of Nagi attendants, some Lonswood Ashigaru, uh, three Nodachi, decent cavalry contingent, I would say, uh, quite cost effective, something I would probably take. But again, so, like, I don't know, I understand the logic. Uh, beating Killifish and Tajal in a skirmishing game is difficult. So they would rather go for something that gives them advantage in certain area. And the only question was how to catch uh, these two. Yeah. So It's not easy. Yeah, by any means. Mm. But yeah, I, thi I think maybe that uh, the ID guys were a bit too reliable on rushing, even though it didn't work out in the first and the second game, they still continued on with it. I, I think it was just uh, the whole the whole idea was that Tajal and Killifish very good at this game of uh, skirmishing. You can't win by... Like, you, you can, but... Um, how should I put it? You can't hope to overcome Killifish mm -hmm. in his game consistently. So they tried. I just think they screwed up their map choice. That's the thing. Yeah, definitely. They took Caldera, maps really? that were perfect for skirmishing yes. for yeah. TWR. <laughs> so it's not approach, but I guess some sort of misunderstanding of what they're doing. They have to do, uh, from yeah. my perspective, obviously. Anyway. Uh, that's it for much. Thank you guys for watching and see you later.